Hello, yes, I've managed to find another classic which deserves to be shitcase, so let's take a look. The Alien Dead. Sounds good, yeah? Well, it's not. Released in 1980, even though it looks like something from the early 50s, it's a super low budget horror film that barely anyone will be familiar with, and rightly so. So it starts with this journalist called Tom telling us via voiceover that nothing much happens to write about. Well, in that case, just get another job then. That was before strange things started occurring in this sleepy little town. Ooh, so what kind of things can we expect to happen in a film called The Alien Dead? Well, this film is really hard to go through in order and explain a storyline because, frankly, it just doesn't have one. Take this opening scene, for example. A bunch of random people are talking about fishing. That's the early development stage. Now, a bass loses those lines when it reaches the adult stage, but this bass is a whopper. Well, you're right there. It has no relevance to anything, and this is just a prime example. But I do like how she stares directly into the camera as if to say, what the hell are we doing here? Wait, are you filming me? Next scene, a bunch of cops and Tom are playing cards and talking nonsense when this happens. Yes, this is old Griff, or Mr. Griffith, and turns out he was looking for alligators with his wife until she was pulled into the water by something that he didn't even notice despite being several feet away. What's the matter? What's the matter there, Griff? One of them gators chomping your old woman, huh? Yeah, it wasn't no gator. Something got her out there, but it wasn't no gator. So our man Tom decides to show some interest because the cops just don't care. I've got to check into this. Now let's go. So off they jolly well go. This movie is so captivating that when some random woman dies, you don't know how and we don't know who she is because we're too busy just thinking about anything else. But if you didn't want my sarcastic take on this scene, here's my serious one. It makes no sense. Back to Tom, he's rocking some serious shitcase cinema style shades there and befriends a woman who is swimming in the lake called Shawn Michaels. No, not the sexy boy wrestler Shawn Michaels. That would have been for a cool movie, but anyway, that just sums up Tom's storyline for now. Like I say, nothing happens unless you like to watch Tom eating food. By the way, Sean, this dinner's really good. What is it? Pasta. Hey. Or listen to some old guy mumble on incoherently while Tom eats his food. It's painful viewing. As opposed to what I'm doing right here, this is barrels of fun in comparison to the alien dead. Now you see this woman in the bar talking to her asshole boyfriend? Well, she wants to leave the bar but doesn't want to go home in the dark. But it's dark. Well, you can just wait for me right here. And you can just kick my ass. Now, I don't know about you, and I could be wrong, but this looks like daytime, you stupid bint. Anyway, mustn't nitpick. So, I guess what you'd call a zombie chases her for a while, and before you know it, it gets her. Surprise, surprise. A zombie that likes to cop a feel. Look. Should I call them zombies or the alien dead? Is it even mentioned that they come from outer space? Well, later on in this so-called movie, this is meant to be a meteor crashing into the swamp. It's low budget, okay, use your imagination. And then this is said. That meteorite didn't kill those people. It turned them into a bunch of goddamn monsters. And then suddenly zombies are mooching around eating people like it's just another normal day. You know, people always say, how do you watch this stuff? <laughs> I am actually questioning that myself now. I just don't know how I sit through this garbage. I just don't understand. Now, I found a trailer before viewing this classic, and it's just as ridiculous, if not more so. It claims it's more terrifying than Carrie. The alien dead, more frightening than Carrie. More spine tingling than The Exorcist. More spine tingling than The Exorcist. And this is my favourite. Check out this line. When the alien dead find you, you will be deader than Mother's Day at an orphanage. They probably spent more time coming up with that line than they did making the bloody film. Plus, the monotone chanting of the alien dead is almost as catchy as chanting Zardoz. Starts Friday at the Hollywood Drive-In. Almost, but not quite. The alien dead. Zardoz! The alien dead. Zardoz! It is pretty close. Zardoz! God, I swear, I would much rather be watching Sean Connery running around his little sexy red pants than this abomination. Anyway... Moving on, Tom and Sean are kissing in the swamps when they hear a noise. Listen! Oh, it's probably just some gator. Or Pasota. Knock that off. It's probably just some big gator. But let's check it out anyway. 
Why? Why not? If there's anything that you should learn from watching shit case cinema movie reviews, it's that the films I review don't need any reasons for anything. So it's that poking a stick in the water. Yeah, that's really smart, Tom. Your brain's working perfectly normal. But instead of an alligator popping up, it's just a dead body. Down at the morgue and the sheriff is annoyed at getting woken up and he says, It ain't Mrs. Griffith. It's not. Of course it's not. This here's a, it's a redhead. Mrs. Griffith is a blonde. But regardless of that, they decide to bring in Mr. Griffiths for some questioning. We never see it, but who cares? Meanwhile, a random old couple are terrorised by the zombies, er, uh, alien dead, and for whatever reason, I guess holding an axe isn't worth using to defend yourself. Nah, just lie down and die. Go on, lad, have a nap. Zombies must have been really hungry, though, because he's half-eaten within seconds. The wife comes out, and I guess she gets a pitchfork through her stomach because that's what the alien dead do to old giffers. Oh, but at least the dog gets a free bonus meal, so... All's well that ends well. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. I don't know where I find these films. I really don't. Every time I think I've found every little bit of dirge out there in the world, something else just manages to pop up out of there. This deputy sheriff is a proper goon. He walks around swinging his truncheon, trying to be super cool, but coming off like a total gimp. He tries working his magic on a random woman in a store who sprays a can of beer on him, but I don't think anything actually comes out of the can. Perves on a woman swimming, I don't even know who these women are. Is it the same woman or not? Are they relevant to the story? I don't care anymore because this film is a load of old bollocks. Like this scene with our main man, it just sums him up. I really don't know what we're doing out here. I don't even know what we're looking for. You know, there's so many things I could say about that guy, but I'm not going to. I think I'll just summarize everything I have to say about him as a character by saying, you goon! And to cement his status as a fucking goon, he nearly gets tipped up in his boat by these two zombies, and the female one looks directly into the camera as if to say, what the hell are we doing here? Wait, are you filming me? So Tom sails away and tells the sheriff some classic tales. Margaret Griffiths was killed by those monsters that only you saw? They also killed off all the alligators in the swamp. Oh, come on now. And the Indians. <laughs> that is just classic. The zombies ate all the alligators in the swamp, and when the sheriff calls bullshit on him, he's like, oh yeah, but they ate all the Indians as well. What, so zombies have been hanging around in that swamp land unseen until now? Just, ah, oh, just forget about it. Just forget it. There's only one thing I can really say about Tom after his stellar performance so far. That guy now is an official shitcase legend, which is a great honour. You'll never know, but it's a great honour. Okay, so here's some footage I did many years ago. I mean, look, I've got hair there. Oh, no, wait, they're football shorts. <laughs> anyway, you know when you're a teenager or in your early 20s and you make little homemade movies, which you try quite hard with, but you know it's going to be complete crap. And when you look back years later, it's amazing how unintentionally funny it is. Well, The Alien Dead is just like that. It has that super low budget charm that only a bunch of friends with a camcorder and no idea of what's going on can accomplish. Now, what I said may sound somewhat positive, sure, but you know what I'm going to say next. This film is pathetic on most levels. It's just, well, it's pathetic on all levels. Who am I kidding? It just makes no sense. It's incomprehensible. It is mind-numbing. It is coma-inducing. It is stupid. It is ludicrous. It is laughable. And I love it, even though it is bad. Now here's my top five random bullshit moments. Number one, at the start, Mr. Griffith is in a boat with his wife looking for alligators, but listen to how he refers to his wife. We put our backs into it, Miss Griffith. You Miss Griffith? You may Miss Griffith. Mrs. Griffith, Miss Griffith. Miss Griffith. Miss Griffith and Miss Griffith. Miss Griffith. Miss Griffith. Miss Griffith. I love that last one. It just gets funnier the more I hear it. Miss Griffith. Mrs. Griffith. That sounded like a really bad Elvis impersonation. Number two, Mrs. Griffith refers to her husband equally strangely. Yes, Mr. Griffith. Mr. Griffith. Mr. Griffith. Mr. Griffith. Number three, when talking about investigating the swamp, the sheriff just can't be bothered, and Tom says he will because he's a man's man, but the scene randomly seems to get cut short. Well, we're going to investigate the swamp, aren't we? <laughs> I, I, I don't see why. Well, I'll tell you what, Sheriff. I'm going to investigate the swamp. Oh, and that band seemed really enthusiastic. Number four. Slow that boat down, son. I think I see one. You weren't even moving anyway, you anus, but whatever. So these two hicks are looking out for alligators when this happens to one of them. 
then the other fellow just falls into the water. I mean, seriously, it's like people in this town actually want to die. Number five, scenes throughout the film cut between day and night within seconds. It's a sign of quality filmmaking. I know this, but, well, I think we know the real truth. It's like the filmmakers didn't have a clue where they were going in terms of direction or where the story was heading. I mean, if, look, you want to make a shitty film, guys, hire me as the writer. I'll send you in a shit direction if that's what you want to do, because, you know, I write stories, they're my books, so I'll happily write a shit film for you to direct, then I'll review it in turn because I'm more than up for the challenge. Just saying. Moving on, we see another random woman swimming in the lake. Don't these people have baths or showers at home? I reckon the filmmaker was just going around filming random hicks in the stream, skinny dipping. Anyway, she dies. So now the film's heroes consist of Tom, Sean, Sean's dad and this Tash man. You excited yet? Well, don't be. So old man dies with an epic scream. Come on with me. Oh my God. And while trapped in a shed, the Tash man decides he's had enough and tries to top that scream with his own. Boom! That is budget right there, folks. Budget. Let's get the shit out of that zombie as well. Anyway, here's his death scream. I think we have a winner. Then our two remaining characters jump into a small boat and harpoon one zombie. That is priceless. I love that. How awesome does that look? I mean, no second take needed there. Nope. They float away. The sheriff and his deputy see them shout some random stuff, and this member of the alien dead pops up, and that's the end. Just be thankful you didn't have to sit through this harsh shit. This was soul destroying. But what about Mr. Griffith? What happened to him? We never find out, unless I fucking fell asleep watching this and missed his demise. Is that really Mrs. Griffith? We never find out. I reckon if Mr. Griffith saw that rotting corpse, he'd say... Mrs. Griffith! And if you have any other questions, I can guarantee that we never find out the answers. Now, before my closing comments, I'd just like to take a moment to say, over the years, some fans have said that they'd love to repay me somehow for my efforts of making videos, or have even offered to buy me a drink one day. Well, with buy me a coffee, you can treat me to a cup of coffee, or a beer to help me get through this utter dirge like this movie, if you feel so inclined to support Shitcase Cinema. Link is below in the description, and my sincere thanks to the fans who have kindly done so already. You know who you are. So in closing, the only thing more dead than the alien dead will be your brain cells from watching this. It makes little to no sense. And I guess my best way to sum up this movie is to quote Morgan Freeman when he said in the Shawshank Redemption regarding chess, it's a total fucking mystery. I hate it. So the alien dead gets a depressing one out of 10. It's driven.